Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is officially spooky season. Halloween is coming up and you know what that means. We need to go out and try to find some to add to our collection. And I think we may have a lead for some today. But first, we're gonna be meeting up with a high school acquaintance who wants to sell me his old PS3 and some games. So we're gonna go and scoop that real quick and then we can finally dive into the nitty gritty spooky Halloween item. So stay tuned, otherwise regardless, roll the intro. I'll catch you guys at the pickup. Hey, you wanna know about some retro video games? Yeah, that's the goal. So you could be buying or selling, man, I ain't telling, but either way you're listening to Rolling Retro. Yeah, I'll get it cleaned up and then refurbish it a little bit. And you said it needs that HDMI in there? Yeah, yeah. that's the cord. Okay. Alright. Nothing but a quick little $80 scoop here. I know I can double up my money on this. I wanted to be fair to my buddy, but regardless, we're gonna be moving forward here to the meat in the second pickup. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a quick little insert because we got a little spontaneous pickup. I'm using the phone right now because we don't have the GoPro with us. Katrine is taking along. This is pretty spendy. We're gonna be doing about $400. Stay tuned, we're a couple minutes out. We'll be picking it up and going from there. Okay, hang on. What? Okay, don't say anything now and then nod your head again. Yeah, that. It reminds me of the uh, Saturday Night Live. If you guys have seen the Saturday Night Live um, skit, I forget who's in it. It's like Jim Carrey, somebody. Oh my god, I'll it play up. it. I'll play it regardless. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Do you mind if I just take a peek at him though? Yeah, you're good. You can. Okay, I appreciate it. Oh, here's the fourth. Thank just, you. Yeah. Thank you. Love the horror titles. That's why I was like the Resident Evil. Mainly what I was kind of after here too. Pop that cover back on. It's so hard with one hand. Yeah. Awesome. And then, okay. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no problem, man. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. The lot is secured, ladies and gentlemen. Let's deep dive this back at the house. We have a ton of horror icon Funko Pops along with plenty heavy hitters for the PS1. We have paid $400 for everything you were seeing here, disincluding the PS3 lot that you guys saw previously, starting out with Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the PS1. This bad boy is going straight into the collection, a pretty expensive game, very, very iconic as well. We do have Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, Resident Evil Director's Cut, very clean copies, the new cases, Twisted Metal 2, Twisted Metal 4, these cases were a little bit better, and a Twisted Metal for the PS3. Here's one game that I didn't lay out at the beginning because it is factory sealed. It is Metroid Prime Trilogy, the collector's edition for the Nintendo Wii. Now going into the Funko Pops, we have Hannibal Lecter. Iconic from the Silence of the Lambs. Amazing movie. I love the blood stain pattern. On top of this, we also have two from Adam's family, Gomez and Uncle Fester. I love Uncle Fester. He's got like a little bit of like a bubble gum or he's blowing a bubble. Pop is iconic. We have the Monsters Herman. What screams Halloween more than good old Frankenstein in the Monsters? Super duper iconic. Amazing Funko Pop as well. Last but not least up here too, we do have John Wick with the dog, Funko Pop. Pretty cool if you're a John Wick fan. Chungus, chungus, chungus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is all that I have for today's video. I know that's a little bit shorter, but I just kind of want to show you what's going on behind me. I am going to be going to my very first convention, September 17th of this year, 2022, at the Uncommon Loon. It is a local brewery in my area. Everything that I pretty much have for video game inventory right now at this moment is going to be dedicated to that convention versus actually going to my eBay store or my collection. Fingers crossed, I should be bringing my GoPro and other camera and stuff along to get some content there and I'm hoping that it goes well but I just wanted to put a little disclaimer that the reason this video was a lot shorter in my cat 
Uh, the reason this video was shorter though is because of that. Um, I have to spend a lot of my time right now focusing on getting ready for the convention. So that's why there wasn't just as much of like a video game pickup as there was today. But we still got some amazing heavy hitters for the PlayStation 1. Let me know what was your favorite game from today's pickup. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I will catch all of you next week for some more video game hunting in the next episode. As always, catch you then.